through nine tax bills, the Ministry of Finance has laid out tax administration measures for the 2022-2023 financial year. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to One of them is the Income Tax Amendment Bill 2022, under which the Ministry of Finance is proposing an extension of the tax holiday to Bujagali Hydropower Project. In 2017, Parliament okayed the first exemption, which ends this year. If another request is granted, Uganda will forego over 250 billion shillings in taxes till 2027. The, the idea is to make sure that we reduce on the power tariffs. Now we will need to evaluate how has it helped. Did we have uh, a, a, a reduction in the power tariffs when we, we enabled that exemption? Is it to the, in the, benef to the benefit of the country? In the 2021 audit report, Auditor General John Mwanga raised concern over the absence of clear guidelines on tax exemptions and other investor incentives after it was discovered that many companies continue to enjoy tax exemptions despite the expire of the exempted period. In other tax measures, through the Excise Duty Amendment Bill, government is proposing an increment in taxes on undenatured spirits of alcoholic strength. Now, those spirits, government wants to increase the tax on them from 60% to 80% on the local, and then from 80 to 100% on the imported spirits. That's what's making it a little bit controversial. With some companies, they are saying that if that is affected, then they will have to close their businesses. The proposal is that increase of taxes should be selective. The majority of the sectors in the economy should not be taxed at all. They should be allowed to recover, to resuscitate, so that once they have recovered, then government can target increases, increasing its revenue. I would advise the government to first of all review its proposal and secondly, first understand the global economics. There is instability because of economic instabilities because of various factors which the government has seriously looked into. Under the Tax Procedure Code Amendment Bill, Uganda Revenue Authority is requesting for powers to close down a factory manufacturing goods without digital stamps. The Finance Committee of Parliament will start processing these tax bills next week. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.